In this section, I'm going to cover a few record concepts that come into play on the EOS, and specifically the difference between record and record only, because they are a little bit different, and it will affect how you are uh, storing values on the console. So I'm going to look at examples of each so we can best explain these concepts. So let's do that right now. I am first going to go into just a basic record so we can see what happens there. And what I want to do is use my Mac 700s. And the way I've got this set up is I have their intensity on a submaster, and then I'm going to use manual values to set their pan and tilt. So I'm going to run up my sub, and they are at full. And I will select those and put them at their down center position. Now we can see that I have a combination. I have a level information coming from a sub, and I have their position information coming from manual values. Now when I press record on the EOS, what's going to happen is the EOS will store all of the information for any channel that's in use into the specified target, in this case, Q number one. Now what I mean by an in-use channel, in-use channel is any channel that has a value regardless of its source, in this case, intensity from a sub and position from the manual, the keypad. So when I press record, you will see that all of the information for this channel was stored into Q number one, and this is shown on our display because the color information, which I didn't touch, is no longer gray. Now the gray indicates that it's at its default value, but in this case the values all turn blue to indicate that they have been stored into this queue because they've, they have now been, uh, that channel was in use. Now I want to do the exact same thing but use record only so you can see the difference. So what I want to do is take this queue out and delete it so I can start over doing the exact same example. So I have my intensity on my submaster. I'm going to put those in their position manually. Now I will repeat the record queue command but using the record only key. Record only, one, enter. Now you can see that the only information that was stored into that queue is the manual information and this is what's important to remember about record only is it's just the manual information that gets stored into my specified target. The intensity did not get stored and it is still active on my submaster. And the color information remains at the, the gray values, which indicate that that's the default state of that particular unit. Now it's important to remember that in both instances, in record and record only, the console treats absence of data differently than a zero. So my intensity channels one through 10, even though they're off in this particular look, this does not mean that the console automatically put a zero in, and this becomes important as this will affect possibly how these channels interact, especially if you're using multiple queue lists. So keep these two concepts in mind. And that is the difference between record and record only on the EOS.